Once upon a time, there lived a young wise knight in a small English village. The knight was happy with his life, but yet he always felt that there was something missing. And so one morning the knight woke up. He packed his bag and he began his adventure. He walked up the steepest mountains and the depths of the valleys. And soon enough he found himself in the depths of a forest. As he walked through the forest, he found a large entrance to a cave. Out from the cave came a glimmer of light, which made the knight curious. And so he began to enter the cave, a very deep, dark cave. And in the depth of the cave, the light was emanating. He followed the light, and as he entered further into the cave, it made him more curious, and he felt a burning curiosity to find the light. Once he came across the light, he notices twelve wise sages standing there. In that moment, the wise knight was in awe. And so he sat there. He spoke to the wise sages for days, weeks, months, and even years as he learnt much wisdom from these wise sages. He learnt to live with passion he learnt how to live with purpose and he gained much insight from these incredible sages. So much so that one day he was so inspired that he wanted to pass his message on to others and even those living in the village at which he left. And so he packed his bags again and he started to walk towards the entrance of the cave. This time he stumbled across a large cranky gra dragon. In that moment he was fearful, he was worried, and almost began running inside the cave again. But he realised in order to pass on that message and give back, he needed to fight the dragon and battle the dragon but he remembered in that moment what he learned from the wise sages and so he would battle the dragon but in a very much different way and so every morning the wise knight woke up he would feed the dragon and the more he fed the dragon the closer the knight and the dragon became soon enough the knight decided to play sticks with the dragon, just like you were to play with a dog. And so he would throw the sticks, and often at times the sticks would turn into cinder. And so the dragon and the knight became closer. But with all that fire, the dragon became thirsty, and so they wanted to quench their thirst. The knight and the dragon found a beautiful crystal clear lake and they drank until their thirst was satisfied and they soon enough became forever friends. From that moment forward they would go everywhere together. They would visit sites around the world. Everywhere they went audiences were in awe people would follow them and he would attract people from all around the world all wondering how they too could become friends with a dragon and live with a dragon and so the wise knight and the dragon would sit there and pass on their wise knowledge and wisdom onto all the people that they met around the world and soon enough 
the wise knight and the dragon passed on their message to the village at which the knight began his journey. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of the knight and the dragon. Thank you for listening. Harness your origin story. Live a life of purpose and passion. Your 12-week Hero's Journey mentoring program starts here. Visit www.theentrepreneursjourney.tv forward slash harness your origin story.